Okay, let's go over what we're trying to achieve here. So let's take a look at these dailies. These just came in from the uh, lab. And you'll notice that each clip has a video track and several tracks of audio after it. So if I open one of these up, you can see the tracks here. So you got your video track and you've got A1, which has the dailies mix on it, A2, which has the boom mic, and then all of the ISO mics from the actors. Often what happens is the editors don't want to see all these tracks when they load them in the source monitor. So what we have to do is isolate A1 and V1 and create a little subclip like this. So when I open this, you'll see that it has just the one track. And then if I match frame into it, then it goes back to the original track. So it just makes it, makes it easier for them because they have to deal with less tracks in their source monitor. Now, the problem is what you just saw me do making that subclip is we have to do it for every single clip that has audio. And in this case, this is just one day of dailies. You have to multiply that by, you know, around 60 to 90 days of shooting. There's 44 clips. So that time adds up. Now, the other problem is we often need to resync these and we do use a thing called perf slip. So if I go over to the slate here, I'll zoom in. We can perf slip right and left, but you can see it's not working right now. And the reason for that is because there's not enough handles on either side of the clip for me to slip. So what I have to do is kind of move into the clip a little bit and move out of the clip a little bit, leaving a little room on each side and make a subclip that way. So that makes the process even longer because I have to adjust each clip manually before I can make the sub. Now when I go in here and I try to perf slip, you can see the audio moves right and left. Now what you do with Evan Schiff's tool is you make an ALE that has only the tracks in it. So like so. So I would basically go to another bin, take all the clips that need this process done to it, throw it by itself, show tracks only, make an ALE. So we'll call this uh, Evan Tool Test. Okay, let's get that copied to a drive and move over to my PC. We are now on the PC and this is at Evan Schiff's website. We go to create subclips. We load the ALE that I just made. We tell it we want eight frames on either side. And I only want V1 and A1. And of course you have the option of selecting additional tracks you want, which is also useful. So you hit download and it creates a new ALE. So I'm gonna copy that to my drive. And we're gonna go back to the Mac. Okay, back on the Mac. There's my new ALE. I come over here. And if I have my import settings set correctly. Yep. Then all I have to do is highlight the clips and drop this on there. And there you go, automatically creates the V1A1 subs for me.